Aileen Riornos 2002. Riornos became one of the most well-known serial killers in American history after her portrayal by actress Charlize Theron in the 2003 film Monster. She had already lived a life of petty crime, fueled by alcohol, when she committed her first slaying in 1989. She slayed at least six more men and was finally caught and arrested in a bar in Florida. She confessed to the slayings, and she claimed they were all in self-defense. Her story changed a number of times in later years, with Riornos finally saying, she slayed the men after robbing them. She received a lethal injection in 2002. More Aileen Riornos 129 of 130 famous American serial killers 56 of 61 the scariest serial killers in history 4 of 11 we asked you answered which serial killer living or dead would you want to be pen pals with Teresa Louis 2010 Louise was found guilty of the slaying of her husband and stepson in October 2002 as part of a scam to cash in on a life insurance policy her stepson had taken out before deploying to Iraq as well as her husband's life insurance policy. In 2002, Louise met Matthew Schallenberger, who was 22, and began a relationship with him. She and Schallenberger devised a plan to end her husband and then share his money. She gave Schallenberger and his friend money to buy the guns they used to shoot the victims. The men went into the home after Louise left the door unlocked one night and shot the husband and stepson, after which Louise waited almost an hour to call the police, but not before searching through her husband's wallet. During the trial, Louise pleaded guilty and was found to have an IQ of 72, placing her on the borderline range of intellectual functioning. Despite this, Louise was slain in Virginia in September 2010, while the two men she hired were given life in prison. More Teresa Louise 11 of 11 11 last meals consumed by female murderers on death row 3 of 13 real women who convinced men to kill for them 8 of 13, the most controversial view. Death Penalty Executions Kimberly McCarthy 2013 Convicted of slaying her elderly neighbor in 1997, McCarthy was a crack cocaine addict when the deed was committed. Prosecutors alleged she stabbed Dorothy Booth, a retired college professor, and cut off her finger to steal her diamond ring, which she then pawned for drugs. She also stole Booth's purse and used her credit cards. After numerous appeals and stays of execution, she became the 500th person executed by Texas after being slain by a lethal injection in 2013. Susan Basso 2014 Basso was one of six co-defendants found guilty of capital murder after slaying a 59-year-old mentally disabled man named Buddy Musso to collect his life insurance money. Basso and Musso had been in a long-distance relationship and Basso successfully convinced him to move from New Jersey to Texas. The slaying was carried over five days in which violent beatings were administered to the man, whose body was found with 17 cuts to his head, cigarette burns, 14 broken ribs, a fractured skull, and a dislocated vertebrae. The body was scoured with a wire brush and drenched in alcohol, then dressed and dumped in Galena Park, Texas. Basso's defense attorneys tried to argue she was mentally unfit for trial, but she was found to be competent and seen by prosecutors as the ringleader of the group. Basso was executed by lethal injection in 2014. Kelly Dissendator 2015 
Jason Daner was executed by the state of Georgia in 2015 after an extremely controversial trial and sentencing phase. She was found guilty of organizing the slaying of her husband in 1997, hiring her boyfriend, Gregory Owen, to end him. Owen testified against Jason Daner in exchange for a life sentence, while Jason Daner, despite not actually carrying out the operation, faced capital punishment. After numerous delays as well as appeals and pleas for clemency, her own children had appealed for mercy, despite her orchestrating the slaying of their father. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then take care. Bye!